Welcome back Legionnaires and we're here with another Rome 2 battle for you today. We've not got a siege battle, we have a pitch battle, so something a little bit different. And we have four Roman armies today facing off against uh, four, well, mainly desert factions. And then we have Egypt and Pontus in the middle. Um, I guess Egypt's sort of a desert faction. They, their kingdom is mainly made up of deserts. But if you've read the tile, then you know we are focusing on a lot of chariots today. Uh, I think most of these... Factions have brought chariots with them. Um, I think, yeah, side chariots over here. I think Egypt's got some somewhere. Yeah, there they are. I don't know if Masaisley, has, uh, Masaisley, uh, Numidia has any. Basically what they are. And then there's Pontus has some there as well. Um, so, yeah, so I think certainly Navatea, Pontus, and Egypt have brought chariots. And, uh, yeah, you're in for a really good battle, so definitely check it out till the end. Um, if you have been enjoying the content at the moment, feel free to leave a like, subscribe if you're new around here. Or haven't subscribed already. And uh, also leave a comment and show your support. But it looks like the first bit of combat going on. is a bit of a skirmish fight here. We have some Velites fighting off against Navate's uh, caravan guard. Both just throwing javies at each other to see what happens. Have a bit of a skirmish over here. We've got uh, Numidia's cavalry cannon being enticed out by auxiliary Numidian cavalry. Oh, that's a bit of a uh, brother versus brother. Son versus father. Sort of like countryman versus countryman sort of thing, I guess. I don't know what I'm going on about, but... That sort of thing. Um, over here, it looks like Rome is being pushed back as a, an engagement is about to happen here already. We're having the first infantry clash here. Episode slightly has started trying to chase down these new uh, these Navitaean swords uh, to no avail. Uh, the slinger's coming out, I can see. But I mean, yeah, kind of like cowered out of that one. I think he might be an okay medium against medium. Uh, it's hard to tell. Hastari are very strong. But uh, yeah, balance power not looking in favor of. Um, of the uh, enemies of Rome, but I mean, you've got Navate already sending his cavalry in here, getting some Velites, sniping them out. He's now going to go with his camels and go after the Roman general here. That's a very good play. Lured the general out. I mean, I think this is his only unit of cavalry on this flank, so he is kind of limited on mobility. Oh, and then look at this a nice draw into the middle. Uh, his tr units had to go into combat to fight the front line and leaving a gap for his uh, camel for the camels and Navate to come through. They killed a lot with Javis there. But they did get a really good charge on those Syrians. Um, so that is devastating. I mean, the other one needs to get out of there soon and get moving. Um, on the other side, what is happening? Uh, still having a bit of a standoff here. Masaisley is uh, and Egypt are sort of just skirmishing. We've now got Pontus sending some Pontic Royal Cav around. Looks like he's going to go for the general look at the orders. I know he's pulling back now because the Sokiai Equites are engaging. Interesting. There's a brave thing to send in Sokiai Equites in this combat. Especially when uh, Pontus Royal Cavalry is a much stronger... Um, back on this side, we're gonna probably. This is where most of the combat's going currently, so we'll stick around here. And um, the Roman general is already wavering. This is not good for this uh, flanking Roman army. I'd be sending in this uh, sword infantry and just trying to route these guys, keep them in combat. Um, but yeah, it looks like they're gonna route. Uh, the red line's not long or not far away. They might actually fully route. So that is a huge hit for Rome straight off the bat. I mean, balance power is still, I'd say, it's shifted slightly in their favor, I'd say, but not much. I mean, this is still a good Roman army. Now we have uh, Rome uh, saying that we've got Eagle Cohort here. And they're falling back. Why fall back? These are some solid, um, not that, not solid at all. These are just Celtic warriors. Eagle Cohort could definitely beat these guys. They've got the Triarii now in combat, holding the line. They've got gaps between their lines. It's an interesting formation. I mean, he's slowing down everything, and I guess then the Eagle Cohort can charge in. I don't know. It's a nice long line here. Let's uh, have it in slow-mo for a bit, you know. Let's let's just get an idea of what's going on then. So we've got Pontus engaging here. Um, Egypt's a bit late to the party. Masesli is still forcing back this Roman army. And we do have a bit of a cavalry engagement now going on over here. I mean, uh, what are these? These are Numidian Riders, Armoured Numidian Riders. These are pretty good. I mean, but they're not going to do well against Armoured Legionaries in combat. They want to get out of there. They certainly caught those Numidian Cavalry and did the damage. We now have chariots in here. Here we go. So we have chariots taking on Spear Gladarises um, and War Dogs. Uh, yeah, two units you don't really want to put against chariots. They're just going to bulldoze through them like they're not even there. And where are they going on to next? They're going on to some, uh, looks like some Slingers. Some sort. Uh, and then they're going on into... Here we go. This is where they're going to want to go. Into the legions. Into some eagle cohort of their own. And that's some good That's some good charges, actually. Um, so, yeah. There we go. That is a good charge. We now have Rome engaging on that front line over there. I mean, we've got... Uh, Navatea is 
slowly encircling this Roman army, but I mean, it's still holding strong. Uh, Pontus not doing so well here, losing decisively on most of these fronts. I mean, uh, his Pontic swords are holding okay, but I don't think they're going to hold too okay in a moment. We're going to see some Evakai cohort here. They're going to flank rounds, quite possibly. They're going to flank around and do some more damage. I mean, they need to set up some more Pontic swords to hold them in place. Egypt's now finally joined the party. He's got Thorax swords in here. He's probably got the best infantry out of anyone to fight the legions, but I mean, it's still not good enough. Still not good enough. I mean, the Desert Cohort actually might be good enough, but there's not many of them. Here they go. Speaking of them, or oh, Desert Legionnaires, here they go. I'm pretty sure I saw some Desert Cohort somewhere. Yeah, these guys should hold okay. And then I'm just looking for the chariots. Oh, here they come. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, this is where the chariots are. We don't want to look at, don't want to look at Mercedes. Oh my gosh, look at that unit. I'm trying to find as many chariot act, bits of action as possible. But yeah, they're like right in mixed in here with this, uh, this cavalry here. That's not going to end well for them. Um, the chariots over here. Doing some absolute havoc. Got more Navitain uh, chariots over here. They're just mowing stuff down. You just wouldn't go and fight chariots. They've just got like blades on the side of their shields. There's like four horses in a unit. Just going to trample you. You would be running. I mean, it just reminds me. Chariots uh, just remind me of the eagle. And like the scene where they they like form. Is it the eagle? I think they form a shield wall or something like that. Oh no, I can't remember what that's in. Oh no, it's the gladiator. There's chariots in Gladiator, that's it. And they form like a shield wall, like a box, and they stop them. In the Eagle, when there's a chariot, uh, I'm pretty sure Channing Tatum just decides to throw a javelin at it and kills the rider, condemns himself, but hey, saves his men. That's what a good centurion should do, is to save his men instead of himself. But yeah, I mean, this Roman army's still looking pretty strong. It's beating Pons pretty hard. I mean, uh, balance power is slowly shifting in favour of... Uh, the enemies of Rome, I guess, mainly because this army over here is getting pretty beaten up by Nabatea. Uh, I mean, yeah, there's a, oh my gosh, there's a lot of Hestati dead down here. Look, there's like hardly any Nabataeans dead down here, just Hestati. Then we've got Evercati. I mean, they have just got through most of the, like, the easy stuff, like the Hestati. They've still got the legions to come up. I mean, the, uh, we've still got the side chariots here. They're still, like, messing about doing their thing. Mercedes on this far flank. I'd say he's got this wrapped up. Uh, you can see like just a number of flags. There's not many left. Also, this was probably by far the weakest Roman army. It's got spear gladiators. He had war dogs. Um, probably was yeah by far the weakest. Oh my god, that javi throw is nasty. As the cavalry comes into the flank, but it's such a, like depleted unit now. Like that that could have been a good charge, but it's just not going to do. Um, they're winning slightly, uh, decisively fighting armored legionnaires and auxiliary cavalry. Got the general coming in here. He's going to get a charge off on these desert legions, legionnaires. But I mean, Legatus is only a medium. Oh no, it's a heavy command, but it's still not that great. It's not. It doesn't mow units down like cataphracts do, or other stuff. Or or chariots. As uh, I mean, oh my gosh, there's elephants in there as well. Oh, these are Roman elephants. I didn't even realize the Romans brought elephants. That was definitely a good decision to bring them. They'll route units. I think Egypt's got some as well. I think they've been just trading off. But yeah. Egypt's are literally in the next engagement over here. They're just like, yep, we'll just fight on our own engagements. Just don't mind each other. Uh, you can win that flank and I'll win this flank. And here we go. I think there's going to be a, a side chariot charge here. Just getting ready. Here it comes. Yeah, that's not bad. That's not bad. I think chariots, when they charge in, it's just not very satisfying. It's a shame they don't have, like, more blood animations and, like, legs get chopped off and stuff. When a chariot goes through, that would be really cool. Um, but yeah, I'm lo looking at this battlefield. It looks like Rome is starting to lose ground quite gradually. I mean, it's only the one against Pontus that's still holding his ground. But he's getting a hammer and anvil now by like elephants, by cavalry. Got for Ptolemaic cavalry in here. And it's just little by little is whittling them down. Like, look at this Eagle cohort unit. That was probably a fairly fresh unit. It's now lost about 40 men. It could have lost more, but uh, at this point. But it's actually lost nearly 50 now. Jeez. But there's about to get charged by elephants as well. No, it's not. The elephants are going somewhere else. They're going to just go into the rear of this combat. Oh, that's not a bad idea. Here we go. Just turn around. You're like, oh, God. Here come the big ellies. The big gray blobs. And in they go. 
They throw Javi's down as well. Devastating. I, Javi throws is nasty. But this close range as well. You're gonna kill some poor some poor man. You're gonna I just I just realized I said that's so concerning. You're gonna kill someone. That's the whole point of Total War, Pope. But over here, yeah, Mercedesley has uh well and truly defeated uh Rome. And then he's now moving on. He's just got I mean he's not gonna really get much action more. I think Rome's breaking here as well. Egypt's finally mopped him up. Uh like I said, Pontus is army is uh was probably the weakest out of all the attackers or well, attackers enemies of Rome. Um Navates, yeah, just about beating Rome. I mean most of it's now wavering and gone. Well, I am shocked. Like I thought Rome had this I mean Rome had this to start with. He had such a strong army, like looking at it, it just like so many legions. Only they had the side chariots and elephants that could really do any damage. But if you bring a lot of archers, you can scare off elephants and you can kill javel uh, javelins. You can kill chariots quite easy with javelins and with archers. But there you go. A close victory uh, for the enemies of Rome. We'll end the replay and have a look. This was sent in by Burr uh, here. So uh, well done to uh, him and his allies. Um, looking at his uh, chariots first, he's got 266 with his. Nothing else really of note got many kills. I mean, 117 for his slingers, I guess, is pretty good. Everything else kind of just grinded up against the Romans and just hoped that they broke through. And then we have Mercedes over here. His chariots... Uh, oh, he did bring chariots. Oh, nice. I didn't realize. Armored Desert Chariots getting 437 kills. Yeah, he brought another one as well. 142 kills. Excellent. Uh, his Desert Legionnaires doing well. Desert Cohort also holding their line. Um, so well done to him. And then we have Rice here. Who brought uh, two units as well, uh, 149 and 324. Excellent. His elephants getting 354. So his um, infantry is only very small amounts, and which is kind of relying on his really strong shock infantry and cavalry, uh, his shock units, so like his chariots and his cavalry and his elephants. Then JJJ, who was playing as Navate, 860 kills with his scythe chariots. It's an insane amount. So well done to him on getting that. I mean, most of his, the rest of his army. Didn't really get near 100. We got a couple of Navitain swords and noble swords that got 100, but not much else. Rome, you can see here, the first Roman army played by uh, Ugar. I don't know, uh, 2010. I'm not sure if that's right. Uh, but uh, he brought no archers. So, I mean, that's no, there's no counts there to Cav or to uh, Chariots or anything like that. Then we have Bas Basarab Dracula. Uh, Dracula. Um, he did bring, he was probably, I thought, brought the weakest of the armies. I mean, you could argue that one was the weakest, but I think this one possibly was... Um, a bit more weaker, like spear glider treaties aren't that great. Uh, they're good for flanking, but they were being used like they're just getting mowed down straight away. They got like no kills. Uh, War dogs didn't really do anything, uh, and his legions kind of didn't do t too great either. Then we have Alan here. Um, his elephants did okay, 187. It's not bad. Probably the best unit for his army. Yeah, actually the rest of his army, nothing got over 100 kills. That's insane. I think he was up against um, Egypt. And then Fat Albert here, who's up against Pontus, who I think got the most kills. Yeah, by was the only one that got over a thousand. Jeez, um, but yeah, he did pretty well with his legions, getting two hundred nineteen with his Evercati, and the Romans got two of his other units got like over a hundred. But yeah, a very quick battle there for you guys. I hope you enjoyed. Um, if you did, please remember to leave a like, subscribe if you're new around here, and leave a comment to show your support. Next week we will be starting Siege Week, so. Uh, Stay tuned and uh, keep an eye for some great siege battles. Um, and I hope to see you guys in some of those battles. And until next time, Legionnaires, see you guys later.